By now, you've probably noticed that we haven't done a, uh, we haven't put a vlog out this week. So um, we're going to explain why. Yeah, because I think this is the first time we've actually missed yeah, is, putting yeah. out a vlog in about 18 months or so. Basically, we've had a really busy week that has kind of stopped us from doing our editing. We went to Goring on last Monday yeah. um, with the sole purpose, really, of investigating having a diesel heater fitted to Merlin. You've heard us in the past talking about how LPG can be a problem, particularly uh, when we go out of season, which we yeah. do quite a lot. Anyway, we found this really, really great company who seem to be able to deal with uh, difficult installations, which Merlin will be. We'll explain more about that later. But what was the name of the company we went to um, see? Sunstore. Sunstore, yeah. Sunstore Motorhome and Workshop. The problem with, um, with Merlin is that because Eldis have put everything under the van, uh, they're finding it hard to mount the diesel heater under the van because there's no space left. Mm. So this is why we found ourselves up on the south coast. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we went to visit Sunstore. Um, they were incredibly helpful, weren't they? Yeah, they were very thorough, weren't they? Yeah, there were two guys at one point looking at the van, under the van, inside the van, into the storage. We've got one little spot um, under, the, um, under the bed where uh, where I really want it fitted now and that is um, underneath my inverter because it's a space that we can't really use mm. for very much although we will have to find more space for our toilet rolls. We will. <laughs> we sort of see it as kind of dead space. It's yeah, really it right. awkward to get to when the bed's all made up. So that's how they're hoping to mount yeah, it. Yeah, so it'll be out of the way and yeah. So, so anyway, to cut a long story short, they've done the uh, complicated bit and spec'd it worked out what they're doing yeah. and we're booked in now to have that done August, September, yes, end of August. Yes, end of August, early September and it'll take two days to do. There's a lot of work involved. So that was really productive. Um, it was only a flying visit um, but we were very fortunate in as much as we'd previously booked to meet up with some YouTube friends of ours. Oh yes. And we met up with Ken and Carol from Life's Too Short. Life's Too Short, yeah, which was lovely. I mean, it was a little bit of a quick, a quick sort of get yeah. together in the pouring rain. We filmed very little. It was just lovely to catch up with them, though, wasn't it? Because yeah. we have quite, we've had quite a lot of dealings with them, sort of off camera type thing. And uh, let me show you who's joined us today. Who are you? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> We've just been dragged into this van. We've yeah. been held captive for a week. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Someone save us. Oh, God. Ellie made Carol cry. I did. I'm really sorry, Carol. Had, this is well, a present that a made Carol present. cry. Uh, look what Ellie So this is made. something I knocked... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ellie made that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That. beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you beautiful. very much. Thank you very They'll much. They'll never forget their little... Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I just did her a little picture, and uh, I didn't, didn't mean to upset her, but um, it must have been that bad. No, I'm joking. Uh, she, wasn't she crying because of the quality of her? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll set it up. You. <laughs> but, uh, no, it was lovely meeting them. Um, yeah, I hope we meet up with them again soon. We had a... Good old natter, didn't we? Putting the world to rights. And if you know Ken and Carol from Life's Too Short, I can let you know that they're exactly the same in real life as they are on their videos. Yeah, just the same. Yep, what you see is what you get. And yeah, they're lovely. Yeah, lovely people. Lovely yeah. couple. Yeah, so uh, yeah, that was nice. But we tried to get them to take this one away with them. Yeah, but, but they, they wouldn't. wouldn't. No, they wouldn't, would they? Ken said, oh, I'd like to, but no. <laughs> <laughs> they like dogs. But no. But I don't want one. No, especially not you. I think they're very wise. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, so far, so good with the week. Everything had been quite positive, apart from the weather, which was atrocious. Oh, yeah. Drive there and back, yeah, yeah but we won't go into that. But yeah, um, yeah, everything had been pretty good to that point. <coughs> we were very busy and full on. Um, but also, what I'd noticed, this was the, mo the morning we were coming home, that I thought I'd scratched my leg. 
it was, this was in the twilight when I was making a cup of tea and I thought, oh, I've scratched my leg, I think. And as I looked at it more closely, I realised that it was actually a tick, which if you've got dogs, you'll know they often can pick them up. Um, ours are treated for it as it happens, but I'm obviously not. I don't have something on the back of my neck to stop me picking them up. So I ended up with this tick on my leg. So surgery later, you and me, wasn't it, trying to get, get it out? Yeah, we, we do obviously have a first aid kit mm. in, in Merlin. And and we've got tweezers in there, which is what we needed. Yeah. But they were pretty poor, weren't they? They were. They were, they were useless. So we ended up breaking, breaking the, it, the tick up. So. Which is like the worst thing that can happen because if the head breaks off in, into the skin, that's where the damage is done. There's, they release a kind of poison. Um, and, uh, yeah, it can be really harmful, apparently. Yeah. Anyway, I felt all right. Yeah, you cleaned it all up with antiseptic, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, my leg sort of got a bit red around the area and there was a little black dot where the bit had broken off. And we, we came home and I just thought, well, I'll keep a bit of an eye on it. Anyway, following morning, it, it looked red and it was quite sore. So I rang the GP and they said, no, you need to go straight to hospital. And was, Which was a bit of a surprise to us. Yeah, because yeah, uh, I thought to myself, you know, I'll just it keep an eye on it. It wasn't because of your medical history, it was... Yeah, this Just is because of ticks, was it? Well, it's a bit of both actually. That the protocol is the same. It's the, it's what happens afterwards that could be slightly different, I guess. Yeah. So basically, I was waiting for ages yesterday in hospital, four or five hours to be seen. Um, and once I got seen, they were amazing. They were so yeah. good. But it, it was a bit alarming about how seriously they took it basically yeah. i had to have a local anesthetic and a scalpel and everything yeah. to and wash it all your, out your attitude was oh blimey i was just going to leave it see what happened happened but yeah i said oh no no don't, don't do that. ever do that and this is part of the reason for sharing this with you because you know they're around at this time of year and, and we'd walked around a, a churchyard with long grass with the dogs hadn't we and we think yeah. that's where where i actually picked it up so um yeah so Basically, there was me in hospital, uh, sort of having this looked at, and I'm now on a course of antibiotics. Um, I've got to keep an eye on it. If, if I have any further spreading of the redness that's around it, I have to go straight to another hospital and be seen urgently and be put on IV antibiotics. Now, that's partly to do with my compromised immune system, which I've had since my cancer treatment, but essentially the advice is the same. You should always go to, to have it removed as soon as possible and you'll probably get be, be put on antibiotics. Don't do what I did, which was to think, oh, it'll be okay. I'm sure I'll just check on it. If it doesn't get infected, I'll, I'm okay. Yeah. You know, it was taken very seriously. And the net result of that is that we spent the best part of the day in hospital trying to sort this out and uh, the vlog didn't get finished, did it? No, it's still not finished actually. Is no, it? we've got a few bits and pieces to do on the Aaron one, which will be running next Friday. Yeah, so we're rescheduling Thursday. that for th next Thursday or Friday. Thursday or Friday, yeah. So, uh, so sorry about that. That's why you never got a vlog this <coughs> week. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so far, so good. Feel all right. Dogs are lovely. And yeah. What? Do you want to cuddle? Come on then. Let's just grab you. Oh. So, all that remains to be seen is we hope you have a fantastic weekend. Dodging the showers because they forecast more rain, don't they? Um, and we'll catch you next week when hopefully normal service will be resumed. And uh, also we'll let you know more about the diesel heater as that story unfolds. Yeah, yeah. In the meantime, take care, won't you? And we'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye.